Hello everyone, welcome to UN College Digital Class. I am Manisha Manashwini Padhi, lecturer in the Department of MCOM in Finance and Control. So here I am covering your banking and insurance portion. In this portion, I have already discussed so many things regarding banking part and insurance part. In insurance part, I have covered the basics of insurance, principles of insurance and importance of insurance, types of insurance, claim settlement process of insurance, etc. Okay. So in my today's video lecture, I am going to discuss a very important topic of insurance which is known as reinsurance. In this, I will discuss the meaning of reinsurance, concept of reinsurance, what are the terminologies which are used in reinsurance, uh, who are the parties in reinsurance and in last, we will discuss the difference between reinsurance and double insurance. So let us start with today's video lecture. So reinsurance is a contract between two or more insurance companies by which a part of risk of loss is shifted to another to reduce its liability. So before going to reinsurance, let us recollect what is insurance. Insurance is a contract between two parties. Who are the two parties? The two parties here are insurer and insured. Okay. So insurance is a contract between two parties whereby one party agrees to compensate the other party against any kind of loss if and only the loss arises against a certain kind of consideration which is called premium. Okay. So for example, I am a uh, I am an owner of a particular factory and for that factory I am going to take a fire insurance. Okay, So as I am the owner of that factory, I have insurable interest in that particular factory. Okay, So I will go to a general insurance company which is known as GIC or any other general insurance company. Okay, uh, There I will tell them that I want to take a fire insurance for this particular factory which I am owning. Okay, So in that case, I will be the insured because I am taking the insurance and that particular insurance company will be the insurer because that party is taking my risk. Okay, The risk which is on my head is being shifted to that insurance company. Okay, So insurance is a contract. There are two parties, insurer and insured. Insurer agrees to compensate the insured. It means the insurance company compensates the insured if the loss arises. And if I want to be compensated uh, when my factory catches fire, against of that I have to pay a certain kind of premium. Okay, So when, uh, when I go to insurance company for taking fire insurance for my factory, in that particular contract I have to sign that, that if I am taking the fire insurance for one year, so I have to sign that contract that till one year I will pay the premium amount every month or every quarter or half yearly or annually to that particular insurance company. If I do not pay the premium, then the insurance company does not become liable to pay the compensation when I suffer the loss. Okay, So in order to get the compensation, I should pay the premium. Once the first premium is paid after the signing of the contract, then the contract becomes liable and the insurance company becomes liable then uh, liable for the loss if arises. Okay, So this is the whole part of insurance. Then we will discuss what is reinsurance. As the name suggests reinsurance, re means again. Okay, so uh, in, in this case, insurance is being done again. Okay, so uh, we can take an example. For example, I have a very big factory. Okay, for that I have taken insurance from a company. That company is ABC Limited. Okay, so from ABC Limited, I have taken fire, fire insurance of rupees 50 lakh for one year. Okay, I signed the insurance with ABC Limited. After the contract has been signed, ABC Limited felt that if loss arises, if uh, his factory catches fire, then uh, that company will have to pay the compensation which is a very huge amount. So ABC Limited felt that, that the company is not able to compensate that, that uh, huge amount. Okay. So in this case, ABC Limited will enter into another contract for that particular subject matter with another insurance company. Say that insurance company is XYZ Limited. Okay. So ABC Limited transfers the risk of fire to XYZ Limited. For example, ABC Limited has the capability of bearing the loss of 20 lakh rupees, but the insurance was of 50 lakh rupees. 
so abc will kept the amount 20 lakh rupees of insurance and uh, rest 30 lakh rupees will be transferred to xyz limited so when my factory will catch fire i will get compensated from both the companies okay so this is the basic meaning of reinsurance we will discuss more so this is what written here reinsurance is a contract between two or more insurance companies by which a part of risk of loss is shifted to another to reduce the liability which i have already told is that the part a particular part of the risk of loss which shifted to another insurance company to reduce the liability of the insurer so the situation of reinsurance arises when an insurance company undertakes more risk than its bearing capacity i have already told this to you that uh, the abc company in which i have taken fire insurance it has signed the contract of 50 lakh rupees but this particular risk is beyond the capacity of abc limited okay so in this case reinsurance will be done by abc limited okay so this is what reinsurance is so if we take into consideration the definition of reinsurance according to rigel and miller reinsurance is the transfer by an insurance company a portion of its risk to another company so what is being written here there is an insurance company which transfers a particular portion of its risk to another insurance company here the insured is not getting involved okay only the only insurance company or the insurer is getting involved and a portion of that risk from insurer is getting transferred to another insurance company so therefore reinsurance is the transaction in which one insurer agrees for a premium to indemnify another insurer against all or part of the loss that insurer may sustain under its policy or policies of insurance okay so under reinsurance what happen one insurer agrees uh, for a premium to indemnify another insurer so in my example uh, xyz limited agrees to indemnify abc limited uh, with the compensation amount against the premium amount okay so this is the meaning of insurance next we will discuss so in the process of reinsurance the real insurer who transfers a portion of the risk is known as the ceding insurer and whom the risk is transferred is known as reinsurer okay so in my example abc limited who is the original insurer who transfers the risk to the another insurer is known as the ceding insurer and the company to whom the risk is being transferred in my example that is xyz limited that particular company is known as the reinsurer so i will uh, i will make you understand this terminologies in my next slide so next we will discuss the features of reinsurance obviously we have studied the features of insurance similarly there are certain features of reinsurance also available reinsurance is an insurance agreement between two or more insurance companies the original insurer shifts the risk beyond the limit of its capacity to the insurer so reinsurance is a insurance between two or more insurance company there is no individual involved okay one insurance company takes insurance for that particular subject matter with another insurance company so here two or more insurance companies are getting involved okay so in this case the original insurer or the ceding party ceding insurer shifts the risk to the another insurer which is known as reinsurer so third point is reinsurer is not liable directly to the insured the relationship of the insured remains with the original insurer only so obviously let us understand the example uh, if the loss arises if my factory catches fire then the reinsurer that is the xyz limited company is not liable to me xyz company is liable to pay to abc limited company i will get my compensation from abc limited only but abc limited will get the portion that it has been written the another portion a uh, rest portion of the in reinsurance will be paid by the xyz limited okay so reinsurance contract is a contract of indemnity obviously insurance is a contract of indemnity it means 
either the loss amount or the actual amount whichever is higher will be compensated similarly reinsurance contract is also a contract of indemnity next point is all the rights of the insured remains same without any change obviously as insured has nothing to do with the reinsurance policy so the rights of the insured remains same without any change next point is all the fundamental principles like insurable interest indemnity utmost good faith etc are applicable in reinsurance so obviously the principles of insurance are also applicable in the principles of reinsurance so these are the features of reinsurance next we will discuss the important terms of reinsurance so the features of reinsurance is uh, as similar as the features of insurance all the fundamental principles like principles of utmost good faith principle of indemnity principle of guarantee principle of subrogation principle of mitigation of loss etc are also applicable to in the uh, contract of reinsurance okay so uh, in the contract of insurance in order to get compensated from the insurance company the insured has to pay the premium okay so if only the insured pays the premium then only insurer will compensate similarly in the case of reinsurance the original insurer or the ceding insurer will pay the premium then only the reinsurer will compensate if the loss arises okay without premium no compensation will be done so next we will discuss the parties the terminologies which are used in the contract of reinsurance so first point here is ceed c e d e okay so to transfer to the reinsurer all or part of the reinsurance risk written by a ceding company so ceding company is the original insurer which transfer the risk to the uh, reinsurer so ceed is the process of transfer of the risk okay second one is the reinsurer i have already told this to you the re uh, the insurer who accepts a reinsurance from the direct insurers obviously my in my example where i have taken fire insurance from abc limited and abc limited transferred the risk to xyz limited in that come in that case the xyz limited is the reinsurer because it takes the insurance it accepts the insurance from the abc limited next one is our ceding company or transferring company okay it is also known as cedent reinsured the original insurer who cedes all or some portion of insurance risk so uh, in my example abc limited which transfers the risk to the reinsurer or xyz limited is the transferring company or the ceding company or the original insurer next point is cession cession means the amount of insurance risk which is transferred to the reinsurer by the ceding company so uh, in my example uh, i have taken fire insurance of 50 lakh rupees the abc limited kept with itself 20 lakh rupees and 30 lakh rupees is being transferred to the xyz limited okay so that 30 lakh rupees is known as cession amount which is being transferred from the original insurer to the reinsurer next point is our reinsurance premium so reinsurance premium is the amount which being paid by the original insurer to the reinsurer for undertaking the risk okay so the consideration paid by a ceding company to a reinsurer for the coverage provided by the reinsurer is known as reinsurance premium next point is our retention retention is the amount of risk which is being kept by the original insurer that is in my example 20 lakh rupees which is being kept by the abc limited so uh, this amount is known as the retention amount okay so the amount of risk the ceding company keeps for its own account is known as retention account retention amount so these were the features of reinsurance next we will discuss the uh, double insurance the difference between double insurance and reinsurance so i hope you have un understood the reinsurance in reinsurance the insurance company uh, with which the insured has taken the insurance contract transfers the risk here there are three parties insured uh, insurer and reinsurer okay uh, in reinsurance insured has nothing to do with the reinsurer okay insured takes the insurance with the uh, take the insurance with the insurance company or the original insurer and 
then the original insurer transfer the risk to the reinsurer okay so this is the basic concept of reinsurance but in double insurance the concept is that i have a factory i own a factory so i am taking uh, insurance for that particular factory from more than one companies for uh, for example i have a factory uh, i have taken 50 lakh rupees of insurance for that particular factory from abc limited xyz limited b limited c limited okay so uh, in double insurance the insured insured himself takes uh, uh, more than one insurance for a particular subject matter so this is the basic difference between reinsurance and double insurance so next we will discuss the difference between reinsurance and double insurance so the first point under the difference between double insurance and reinsurance is basis so in double insurance an insured can purchase different policies for the same subject matter but in reinsurance an insurer can get insurance uh, can get reinsurance with another insurer so let us understand in double insurance insured can purchase different policy but in reinsurance the insurer will get reinsurance okay so this is the difference here insured takes more than one policies but in reinsurance insurer takes more than one policy second point is our number of policies so under double insurance insured can get more than one policy so obviously i can take more than one insurance for a particular subject matter uh, which i own okay but in case of reinsurance only one policy is taken against reinsurance okay but in reinsurance case the uh, which i have given example previously abc limited can only take insurance with can only sign reinsurance contract with xyz limited more than one policy of reinsurance cannot be taken third point is the relation between the parties in double insurance there is a legal relationship between parties but in reinsurance the relationship only exists between the original insurer and the reinsurance uh, reinsurer there is no relationship between insured and the reinsurer so in case of uh, double insurance every uh, the insured has relationship has a legal relationship with all the parties with which he has taken insurance but in reinsurance the relationship only exists between the insured and the insurer insured has nothing to do with the reinsurer reinsurer will deal with only the original insurer next point is our contribution in double insurance every insurance company has to contribute in proportion to the policies on happening of losses so if i have taken a total of 50 lakh rupees a total policy of 50 lakh rupees from five companies of consisting of 10 lakh each consisting of insured amount 10 lakh each then whenever my loss arises every insurance company will compensate me in a proportionate manner they will contribute the amount that will be uh, they will contribute the amount that is going to be compensated but in reinsurance the insured but in reinsurance the reinsurer has to require to contribute in proportion to the amount of reinsurance similar uh, so uh, in my example abc limited uh, has retained 20 lakh rupees of uh, 20 lakh rupees of insurance amount insured amount and it transferred 30 lakh rupees to xyz limited so here xyz limited or the reinsurer is bound to contribute 30 lakh rupees to the uh, abc limited or the original insurer next point is our claim under double insurance uh, double insurance insured can claim from the uh, from every insurer subject to the limit of actual loss so if i have taken insurance policy from five insurance companies when i uh, when i am facing loss when my factory caught fire i can claim for compensation for uh, for the all five companies okay but in reinsurance insured has the right to claim only from the original insurer in reinsurance where i have taken fire insurance from abc limited when my factory caught fire i have the right to only uh, claim the loss from abc limited abc limited will then again claim the loss from xyz limited then xyz limited will compensate abc limited and abc limited will compensate the insured but here uh, the insured that is uh, in my example me i can only claim with the original insurer 
Next point is our purpose. The, uh, the purpose of double insurance is to secure the insured even if any one of the insurer becomes insolvent. So, if I have taken fire insurance from five companies, from that five, com uh, from uh, those five companies, one company became insolvent. So, this is the duty of the another four insurers to compensate the insured if the loss arises. And after that, they will get, uh, they will get their part from the insolvent insurer, okay. But in reinsurance, the purpose is to reduce the risk of the reinsurer, okay. So, here in reinsurance what happens the insurer reduces its risk, it reduces its part of risk and then, com and then transfers the risk to the reinsurer, okay. Last point is our insured sum under double insurance the sum assured is increased in accordance with the number of policies. Obviously, if I am taking 5 insurance from a partic for a particular subject matter, then the sum assured is also getting increased. Similarly, the premium which will be paid by me will also getting increased, okay. But in case of reinsurance, only some part of the insured sum is reinsured. So, in my example, I have taken the fire insurance of 50 lakh rupees. So, 20 lakh is being, written, is being with the uh, ABC limited and 30 lakh is with the XYZ limited. But in double insurance, the insured sum, the assured sum get is in getting increased along with the uh, number of policies. So, this is the basic concept of reinsurance. Again and again, take, taking insurance again and again is known as reinsurance. I hope you have understood the video. If you didn't get something, you can ask me in the comment box. I will clear your doubts. Thank you for watching.